What's up, guys? So, transparency moment, okay? <laughs> this is transparency, okay? God want me to be open. So be it, okay? Um, My last video that I just posted just a moment ago about have you ever asked God, why is it so difficult for you to get to that aisle, uh, to have that child or that career, right? And I brought up word curses and witchcraft and different things like that, right, in that video. <sighs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay, so the reason why that video was brought to you guys was because I can testify. Um, there has been word curses that was spoken over me concerning me and my relationship with who I'm with, right? Um, and it has been by different family members and things like that. <sighs> okay, so I don't know why God is doing this to me right now. I really honestly don't know because I didn't ask for this, y'all. <laughs> I did not ask for this. But, yes, there has been word curses that was spoken over me also concerning the person who I am with, right? Um, I was told that I don't want him to marry you. I was told um, that you don't need to marry him. I was also told that I'm going to pray that y'all don't get married and different things like that. Um, even when we was engaged, um, those who don't know, I'm with the person who I was engaged to um, before. We was younger though, so I wasn't ready to get married at that time. Thank God we didn't get married during that time frame because it, it was not going to work out anyway because I was not mature enough or ready enough. So God knew what he was doing, but even back then I was told that uh, he wouldn't marry you. I was also told that um, you was just not right for him and things like that. And if I could even be even more transparent, <sighs> Lord Jesus, why is you doing this to me right now? All right, if I could even be more transparent, um, as a child, I was also said that I was fat, I was ugly, um, so I, I had a dust to tell me that. Um, I also had a dust to tell me um, that I laughed too much. Um, that was family back in the day. Um, I had someone to tell me that I was going to be big as a house and things like that. So clearly, as you guys see, your girl is thick, okay? Your girl is thick, and I'm losing the weight to God be the glory, okay? Can we say with some good help from my Jaro? Halle, Halle. Um, but all jokes aside, though, word curses are for real, okay? <sighs> word curses are for real. So, if you have been spoken word curses over yourself, please, it is imperative for you to pray. It is imperative for you to fast. It is imperative for you to read your word. Okay? Because if not, those word curses will remain in effect. It's when you begin to pray fast read your word worship and pray and also make sure you have a commitment with christ jesus okay make sure that all um uh, covenant with satan is broken make sure that you are repenting for your sins make sure that you stand before God and even repent on behalf of your family, okay? To break those curses. Because word curses, generational curses, 
are witchcraft, okay? So anybody that speaks word curses over you, it is witchcraft, okay? So when you are praying the opposite of things of God, you are praying witchcraft. So you want to get before the Lord to break those powers, okay? Because the thing is, if you if you try to break those powers without fasting, without praying, without reading your word, without worshiping and praising, it's not going to work. It's going to make things even worse. All right? So I say all this to say, I have, I have been trying to walk that out for a long time with him. And at first, I thought that it was God's doing, right? I thought God was preventing me from being married to him. At first, honestly, um, I said, okay, God, this is you. So, you know, I'm just going to step back and do what you want me to do. It was until the Holy Spirit began to tell me that that is not my doing, that is causing this, that you have not only fear, he said, but also word curses. I had word curses to be spoken over us as well. Um, those who don't know, um, we almost got married in Chattanooga, okay? We did. We almost got married in Chattanooga. And we actually, um, we never got the paperwork or whatnot, but we almost got married. And people kept telling me that he's not going to marry me. Or my wedding was not the best wedding that I needed to, you know. Or I had, you know, he, he he's not going to stay with you long and different things like that. How come we never got married? <laughs> we never got married. In fact, he, um, I also was told that he needs to marry somebody else and he needs to leave you alone. He actually got married to somebody else, got divorced. We ended up somehow back together and yet still not married. Why? Because word curses is for real. And it was until this very moment that I realized that I did not pray and break the power of that word curse. I broke and I broke and destroyed the fear, the spirit of fear. But it was until this very moment that I realized that I did not ask God to destroy the power of that word curse. See, not only was the word called, word curse spoken over us, but it was also spoken over my health as well in regards to my weight. That's why I was always bullied in high school. That's why I was always bullied in middle school was because I had family members to say I was fat. I was going to be big as a house and different things like that. So if you don't know if word curses are for real, Check out this video and see, look at my eyes, hear my voice, hear my heart to let you know how real it is. Word curses is witchcraft, right? Peace out. All right, guys. So this is part two because I wasn't able to do it on part one, but this is part two. And I'm just letting the Holy Spirit do what he do, okay? Like I told you guys, the Holy Spirit will lead you into truth. Well, this is my truth, okay? So, I give God glory for it. It's emotional. I'm not going to hold you on that because I was not prepared to be spilling my business, my personal business on TikTok. So, you y'all, that's God, okay? Not me. But let me tell you how word curses are for real. I was also told that I was too, that I waited too late to have a child, that I would never have a child. I was also told um, that I would never be a mom by family. I was also told that um, that yeah, I would basically wouldn't have a child because I waited too late. 
And it used to frustrate me so much that I used to hate seeing pregnant women. I did. I used to hate it. Because it would always remind me of what I didn't have, right? And it took the Holy Spirit in me to really get me together. You see what I'm saying? Because of those word curses that were spoken over me. A lot of people don't know. But I was pregnant before and I miscarried. Okay? So, word curses are for real. Those word curses is what killed my child. Okay? My little girl. Because it took... It took a while, but God revealed to me that it was a little girl that I lost. He told me the reason why she didn't make it was because she would have had spondifida, if I'm saying that right. Word curses are for real. Yeah. People kept saying, Amanda, you're not going to get married. Amanda, you're not going to have a child. You waited too late. You should have had a child back when you was younger and different things like that yeah so i just want to let you know when people speak word curses over you don't he he and ha ha over that you begin to bind up that demonic spirit right then and there you don't accept what those word curses are you reject it in the name of jesus because word curses, like I said in part one, is witchcraft. Never accept word curses from people. I don't care if they're your family, your friends, somebody you don't know, somebody who hates you. You pray against that. And you fast. Do you hear me? If you never fasted before, let me encourage you to fast. Please do it. It is important for you to do it. So not only did word curses cause me to be bullied because I was told that I was going to be big as a house. Not only did word curses prevent me from being married to my fiance at the time, but it also caused death to our unborn child. Word curses kills So you begin to destroy those demonic powers by fasting and praying. Never, and I mean never, allow anybody to tell you opposite of what God has told you. If God told you you're going to be a wife, my God from Zion, you're going to be a wife. If God told you you're going to be a mother, you better go and start buying stuff for your child. I don't care if you don't see that child in your future right now. Go to the store and buy you some child stuff and prepare for that child in that marriage. Don't let people tell you what you won't do, what you won't have. They not God. They can't tell you that. They don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. So start fasting, start praying, start getting in your words so that you can destroy those curses. All right? Peace out.